Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a one brand tutorial. I am using all Marc Jacobs products. So we are playing with some very expensive, expensive stuff today. This is the look I came up with. Just really fall pumpkin spice is the vibe I'm getting from this look. And yeah, it was using all Marc Jacobs products. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So I don't have the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I just didn't really like that. It wasn't very moisturizing for me. But a really, really good dupe is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer um, by First Aid Beauty. I actually really, really like this one. It's very moisturizing. And it also has like a peach tint to it that really helps brighten your skin. And it just gives you a really pretty moisturized base to work off of. So I think I'm going to work on the eyes first today. I actually got the um, Scandalesque palette. I'm so excited about this. And it came with the primer, the eye primer. This is the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. So I think I'm just going to use this today. I'm going to take that and apply it on my lids all the way up to the brow bone. So I'm going to take this flat shader brush and a little bit of face powder. Just take any powder that kind of matches your skin tone. Now I'm going to set that primer from the brow bone down to the crease. Okay, so I'm going to dip into the palette now. I don't, oops, if I could open it. Look at the slim packaging. It's so beautiful. And these are the colors. <sighs> So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go into this middle one, this like camel brown color. It's so beautiful. Okay, as you can see, that does have quite a bit of fallout. So just be careful with that. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to throw it into the crease area, making this our transition color. So I'm going to take that color all the way in and all the way out. So put the brush first where you want the most pigment to go. So I kind of put it in this outer corner right here and then I start to blend in. Wherever you put your brush first is where the most pigment will go. Next I'm going to grab a MAC 217 and I'm going to dip into this dark purpley brown shade that's really really pigmented I'm just gonna take that and tap it into the outer corner place the color first where you want it to go and then you can blend it after so now I'm gonna take a clean brush and really lightly go over that color to soften it out and blend it a little bit. Okay, so next I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to dip into this really beautiful copper shade. I'm going to spray that with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the lid. Look at that color, that is beautiful. So I'm going to go in with a small crease brush and I'm going to blend out those colors so it doesn't look so harsh. So to clean up the brow bone a little bit, I'm going to dip into this matte color right here with a flat shader brush. This one doesn't have as much kick off as the other ones. It doesn't have a lot of pigment either. And I'm just going to take that right under the brow I'm going to take a flat angle, not a flat angled, an angled brush and I'm going to dip into that really dark purpley brown and I'm going to go along the lash line, really messy, just to um, smoke it out a little bit. 
make it look a little more grungy. Next, I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs highlighter. This is in the black color. This is like really, really black. And I'm going to use that to tight line. So I'll finish up the eyes a little bit later. I'm going to work on the face now. I'm going to go in with... Sorry about that. I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs. It's the Remarkable Gel Foundation. I really, really, really love this foundation. It's one of my favorites. It's just a really light, airy consistency, but it gives you really good coverage. It's about a medium coverage, but you definitely can build it up to a full. And it just looks so natural on the face. Like, it's really hard to overdo this foundation just because it is that gel consistency. So... Even if you pile it on, it never looks cakey. It's just a really beautiful foundation. You can see I'm building it up where I have a little bit more redness and it just like completely erases it, but it still looks so natural. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Remedy Concealer Pen. This is supposed to be like a corrector and a concealer and like a de-puffer all in one. There's a lot of claims. I actually like this. It's not my favorite. I like it to be my concealers to be a little bit more full coverage but it is nice and the applicator, this metal applicator is actually really cooling and feels really nice. It says on the Sephora website that with one click is all you need. That's definitely not true. You can see I'm constantly clicking it because not a lot of product comes out of the pen. I'm just going to use this kind of as a highlighter and concealer in one. And I'm going to blend all of that out with my beauty blender. This concealer is more mattifying, but I don't mind that. I kind of... I would rather have a mattifying concealer under the eyes and I find it is really really um, hydrating as well which is nice. You can see that's one side done. It actually gives quite a bit of coverage and looks really nice under the eye. So next I'm going to go in with the Perfection Powder Featherweight Light Foundation. This is like a really really light coverage foundation but it just this is a really light coverage foundation. I don't use it as foundation just because it is so light, but I like using it as a setting powder. So I'm just going to dip my beauty blender into it and I'm going to set my under eye area. This just kind of blurs fine lines and pores, but it doesn't give you a completely matte finish. It still lets a little bit of that dewiness come through, which I really like. So I'm going to take that highlighter gel crayon again and put it um, in my waterline. I'm also trying to kind of get it outside the waterline, just like really in between the lashes. So I'm going to take a little bit of powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. Just do that so that um, I can finish the eyes without getting more fallout. I'm going to take a smudger brush and I'm going to dip into this last shade right here, this cranberry shade. I just need to use this. It's so pretty, I just need to use it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend out that black liner. So I'm going to wipe away all that powder. Okay, next I'm going to dip into this transition color again really, really lightly. Blend out that bottom lash line and really connect it up here. I'm taking a clean brush now and I'm going to just start taking that around the edges to make sure everything is nice and blended. I'm looking completely crazy right now so I'm going to add some color back into my face. I'm going to be using the um, Omega Bronzer in 102 Tantric. This is one of my all-time favorite blon bronzers. bronzers. I'm going to use this big Marc Jacobs bronzer brush because why not? And I'm going to bronze the face. Okay, cancel that. I'm going to go in with this MAC brush instead. That thing is just way too big. I like using it for like all over powder but not for 
like more concentrated areas. You can see that's such a beautiful natural bronze. I also like taking that bronzer right in the temple and then around the forehead. And since this is such a perfect color, I'm going to take this contour brush that I use and I'm going to dip into that same color. I'm going to use that as contour. Take that color down the nose as well. So I don't know why nobody talks about these little blushes. Everyone talks about those bigger ones. But I actually really like these ones as well. These are their bold blush. Bold blush. Look at that cute packaging. And these are really nice because they do give you a lot of pigment, but they have a bit of a sheen to them. They're not completely matte. I'm going to mix two colors today. I'm going to miss mix. Ooh, don't fall. Don't fall. I'm going to mix, mix Reckless with Obsessed. Like it gives you a really beautiful, subtle wash of color, but it's not completely matte. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. Very beautiful. So, unfortunately, I do not have a Marc Jacobs highlight. <gasps> need to get one but what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to take this shade right there and I'm gonna use that as my highlight today sorry wrong shade actually taking this one I want the highlight that looks like a deodorant stick but that thing is like $65 maybe more so I just need a little bit more highlight. It's bugging me, so I'm gonna go into Opal. Apply that. That's better. Also going to take Opal on that same shader brush and go over that inner corner highlight. So I do have a couple of the Marc Jacobs lippies. I have some of the High Shine Lip Lacquers, a more purpley one, a nude one, a more fuchsia one, and I have a couple of itty bitty samples of the La Creme lipsticks, but I wanted to go with something a little bit more orangey, pumpkin-y, just to match the eyes a little bit and make it more fall ready. But um, yeah, you guys, here is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I could see all of you guys in the next one. Bye guys.